Hello and welcome back to Forge by Geeks playing Kingdom Death Monster, People of the Skull. This is our second round for today. Uh, we're hunting a level one antelope primarily to get some resources and hopefully get some more dried acanthus made because we're um, oh, did we bring the, uh, yeah, you've got the scythe. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, sickle. sickle. <laughs> you I said... know I keep screwing it up so much that you've got it wrong. Yep, yep, I blame you. <laughs> um, but I blame myself for rolling too many, uh, high numbers on our fight versus the hand. Yeah, you <laughs> do deserve blame for I that. I blew all of our acanthus. Yes. It was all on me, literally. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're good to go. Thank you to Always to our patrons on Patreon, and let's give this a shot. Devoured Grounds. The stone-faced ground is littered with the leavings of ravenous passing bees. Half-eaten acanthus plants are strewn everywhere. Can we collect them? Please? No. Please? Um, if any survivor has three-plus understanding. Yo. You do? Yeah, remember? We're bringing out the character that needs oh! more understanding. <laughs> so she just needs one more. So. You may skip the next hunt space. Otherwise, roll a random hunt event. Nope. Yeah, I'm skipping the damn next one. Straight <laughs> out there. Wow. So do we want to do herb gathering? Yes, we do. Okay. Wow. That was that was luck. I, I am not gonna complain about that one. Okay, so we now have to roll. So we start with the character with monster controller and probably do four dice. Yeah. And we need 75, is it, to get the high level? Yeah. But we don't have the plus 10 from the Overwhelming Darkness, so it's pretty hard to get. Yeah. No doubles. That's good. 16. 16. Nice. So we start with 16. That's a good starting point. All right. So roll four again. Doubles. Oh, twice. twice. Wow. Yep. So what do we need to get one acanthus or two? We've already gotten one acanthus. We would have to reach 44 to get two. 44. Okay. So in that case, I will do four as well. Okay. Because 44 is kind of our target. Mm -hmm. Doubles. Okay. Okay. So to hit 44 from, what are we, 16? Mm -hmm. We need 38. Not fucking happening. No, no. 28. 28. Still not really happening, though. We've already got one? Yeah, we've already got one. Let's go all in. We're not going to get messed up off of this. No, this won't hurt us if I blow this, right? Mm -hmm. No, okay. it won't. I got one double in that. Hmm. Other, otherwise, would that have even been enough? 31. It would have been enough if I hadn't gotten a double. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> all survivors gain plus one survival. And, okay. And... Uh, and a fresh Acanthus Strange resource. Okay. And we gain a fresh Acanthus Strange resource. Yeah, we don't get four. <laughs> so we actually gain two survival because of the uh, thing. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to pre-pull out the Acanthus since we're going to be going for a lot of it. I think there's only four? Yeah. Okay. All right, monster controller moves. And we encounter. Dead antelope. Yeah, oh, God. The survivors are struck by the scent of rotting meat wafting from a hulking corpse ahead. The event revealer may lead the survivors to investigate. If they do, gain one random vermin resource, two random screaming antelope resources, and roll 1d10. On the result of 7+, plus, the survivors are startled by the arrival of the antelope's killer, a white lion. And the hunt now starts a showdown with a white lion one level higher than the quarry or the highest level available add a dead monster terrain card to the showdown. If they don't investigate, roll a random hunt event. I think we want a random hunt event. I actually think we may want to, like, do this. Well, we need the Acanthus. What happens if we end up with a level 2 white line? Um, we can handle it. Yeah, then we won't get the Acanthus, yes. Yes. But we can always do another fight for Acanthus. And uh, we already got one. Yeah, we have another... Fight another random fight that we can do, but in the in the settlement phase after the next hunt, we will then encounter a nemesis after that, and we've got a manhunter coming up. Okay, so you think a level two white lion might be a good idea? I don't know. Honestly, with the manhunter coming up, we may just want the acanthus. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to get the acanthus from this one, and then do another DBK. Mm 
The random hunt event is always a risk, though. Yeah. But there's also the chance of getting understanding. Yes. Would be nice, but yes, we are going to do the random hunt event. 37. That's really close to the harvester. It's not the harvester. Okay, you know what the harvester think, is? Yeah, I think it's 34. <laughs> it's really close to it. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I was wrong. It isn't the, it isn't 34. Where's the harvester? What is it? I'm sure somebody will know on our thing. Uh, okay. Anyways, hey. we're 37. Lost. Uh oh. Shit. The survivors are hopelessly lost in the unbroken darkness. Move the survivors two spaces back on the hunt board. Oh. Uh, okay. That's it? Yeah, hold on a second while I just double check. Um. Event the complete the card is archived, so these are technically gone. Okay, so we'll, they will be they, randos. Yeah, they will be randoms. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Though we don't have to do the one we just landed on. Uh, yes, we do. Oh, we do. We move two back, and then this is an empty space, which means we get a random hunt event. Okay. So monster controller moves, and it's yours. Okay. <sighs> that sucks. 78. Is this the freaking uh, pigeons again? <coughs> Terrible. Anyways. Dead Greek Game Hunter. The survivors find a corpse dressed in a brightly colored in brightly colored clothing clutching something to its chest. The event revealer may investigate. If they do, they gain plus one courage and roll 1d10. If any survivor has a whip, they lash the corpse from afar at plus four to your result. Otherwise, roll again on the hunt event table before moving on the hunt board. A, you have a 10% chance of a dismembered arm severe injury, a 30% chance of a, a negative one accuracy token, a 40% chance... A 50% chance of gaining understanding and a 10% chance of a frenzy drink. <clears throat> it seems relatively safe. The dismembered arm's the biggest problem. You will not be able to activate two handed weapons. Which I do not have any. Okay. Then you can probably afford it. Do I lose anything permanently other than that? Mm -mm. Okay. Come on, Ezra. Three. Good enough. Gain a negative. He was holding an explosive. It explodes, but you pull away before disaster strikes. Gain a negative one accuracy token. That's not that bad for a level one fight. No. Don't care. Yeah, that moves me down to no accuracy bonus, but... Yeah, but... Uh, wrong character. We'll be okay. That's, that's, that's tolerable. Yes. This is a thing that can be managed. So you did gain plus one courage. Did you do Oh, that? I do get a courage. Yes, okay. because you bravely, like, investigated the dude. I do not hit a chart. I do not hit bold. Okay, so now the monster controller moves, and it is a random hunt event. Yep. I, oh, throwing them out? Yeah, because... 26. Pit. The ground beneath the event revealer's feet gives way, and they plummet into a pit below. The event revealer rolls 1d10. If another survivor has a whip, they throw you a line in time. Do not roll on the table. Do you have the tumble fighting art? No. Okay. Six. You land at the bottom with a loud thud. Suffer two damage to a random event to a random hit location. Okay. Waste. And archive all fragile gear. I don't think I have any, but I will find out in a second. I hope not. Um. It frail is not fragile. I know. Nope. Something people frequently mess up. I don't think I have any on any of my characters. Uh, I nope. think I have fragile somewhere, I thought. Fragile, fragile, fragile. No, I don't actually, I'm not wearing anything fragile. Yeah, this is all my characters got. Fragile. Okay. So, in case people are wondering what's on them. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any fragile that I can see. Okay, so... That's the completion of that, so... This has been a really long hunt. Yeah, but so far not too terrible. Yeah, exactly. 
71. Okay. Found relic. Admits the endless stone faces, the event revealer notices an unusual object on the ground. The event revealer investigates and rolls 1d10. Five. Uh, if we had records, it would add six to the result. You find a stone heart that pulses with warmth as you hold it in your hands. Gain plus one insanity. Oh, wow, that's interesting. If we've rolled a ten, it's really powerful. So she's up to three insanity. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we've seen that one before. No. Okay. Wow. And we arrive. We arrive. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So no permanent injuries. Yep. Which is good. Oh yeah. I got close to losing an arm. But alas, I did not lose an arm. And that is what is important. You were not disarmed. Yes. Okay, so first up, I will get us our tactic. So I do not forget. Yeah, it's so easy to forget that. Yeah, so many events this time on the correct side of darkness. Yeah, at least it didn't run away. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Our tactic today is trick <coughs> formation. Once per showdown, during your act, if you are directly in front of the monster and there are at least two survivors in its blind spot, you may spend an action to trip the monster. If you do, the monster suffers knockback one away from you and is knocked down. Thus colliding with, with the, the two, two survivors in that thing. Um, wow, but they just get knocked back. They don't get uh, knocked down, do they? No, you get collision because he's knocked back one. Oh, right. <coughs> Okay, um, we get two random terrains? Yes, yeah, so three Acanthus, one Bug Spot, two random terrains. Okay, so here's our three Acanthus cards. A Bug Spot. <clears throat> and I do have a Strategist. Yeah, the formation is tripped. Very trippy. Yeah, it's trippy. <clears throat> Yeah, that hand fight went really fast. Yeah. Faster than the last time. Jesus, it gets so hot up here. Start turning on the air. Yeah, we're getting close to it. I mean, we've already verified that it doesn't really make much sound, so... Yeah. On the stream. Uh, okay, first Oops. random. Debris. That's not bad. No. Oh, wow, we could get a scrap sword out of this. Which we can't put in our gear grid. Oh, right. Damn it! Um, ore vein. Very nice. Which we can't use. We've got a pickaxe. Yeah, but we can't use it, basically. No, we can use iron. Uh, only if we have something with... Uh, only if it, the thing, resulting thing has the bone keyboard or... Keyboard. Which are quite a few that do. Huh. There's okay. one, there's a shield that does. Okay. I'm pretty certain. I could be wrong. Um, and then <laughs> we get the giant stone face, which I still have. Okay, so that is a lot of stuff. So you got all six acanthus, the debris, the ore vein, the bug patch. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, this is going to take a moment. Okay, where's the bug patch there? The bug patch, I believe, goes here. It's there. Okay. And then these are four-way. So I'll put one there, like I usually do. I've kind of got my setup. Yep. Which is fine. Okay, the debris set up adjacent to any board edge. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah. Who do we want to go for that? We can get a bone blade, a random basic, get knocked down, and scrap sword. Um, I have a lot of free space. Yeah, so it makes sense for you to go for it. Yes, yeah, so I'll put it over by uh, Midoriya. Okay. Um, Orvane, six spaces from all other terrain. 
So I have stone noses on both of my characters, so I increase their insanity. And I would increase phase survival. Oh, I was supposed characters. to get that in stone noses from you. For my character. I never put that on there. Oh shit. I had commented, but I just didn't get it. Yeah. <clears throat> um I think I'm gonna give you the ore vein put down by one of your starters. Okay. Is it at the edge of the board? Uh, six spaces away from anything else. So yes, you can put it there. Don't you want it next to the person who actually has the the thing, or do you want to just? Avoid oh that right, the you... pickaxe. Yeah, good point. I'll take it. Then I think I need to give. Ooh, do you have open slots? No. Okay. Um, can your other character make it to the bug patch with uh, a dash? Oh shit! I do have an open slot because I accidentally put a second bandages on this for some fucking reason. Okay, then I will give you the debris. And then, which character has the uh, vermin? Uh, Faye does. So that's okay. going to be yellow. Okay, so... She can't do anything until somebody clears that bug patch up. Yeah, I'm planning to go right for that. I'm making sure I can reach. Yes, I can make it to the bug patch with Midoriya. And then... Honestly, dude, I'm going to turn on the Go ahead. If you guys start to hear a lot of noise kick on, just let us know. Just put it on low. Um, okay, uh, could be wrong. No, we're never wrong. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Uh -huh. I'm lined up to... Oh, wait, we want you to try to gra grab all the acanthus. Uh, yeah, ideally. Yes, so I will not run out of acanthus. Oh, uh, yeah. That means he may heal up, but I don't think we care that much. Yeah. Okay, so monster controller passes. Alright. And we get this party started. Yeah. He goes first. Back kick. In blind spot. In range. Closest threat. In range. No threat. Graze. Okay. Monster pull moves to the closest to campus plant. I'm gonna have... Which character is the person looting uh, plants? This person is the one who loots plants. Okay. So I will move him to this one then. Okay. Uh, heal one wound. Okay. That was not a problem. Yes. Okay. And that is the end of that. Awesome. Oh, right. Wow, that immediately to... cooled it down in here. Jesus. Yeah. So the wisdom potion tells us uh, reflex turn the monster to face away from the attacker and full move forward in a straight line. Cancel all hits now out of range. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is Midoriya is going to blow a dash. Okay. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can't run to its side, which I'd hoped. Um, but that's fine. Then I roll on the bug patch with risk of three brain damage. Ooh, that'd be a problem. Um, let's not roll three brain damage. Do we need to... Well, oh, do you have a horn? Um... Oh, wait, he has a horn. He will surge and use his horns before he goes. Okay. So that Does that get you to safe? That gets me to two. Okay. Which is safe, safe. Yep. Speaking. Yeah, that's why I needed the stone nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Seven. Gain one random vermin resource. Archive this. So I'm perfect because I was safe yeah. and not insane. Yes. <laughs> it's like, you, two is the ideal spot to be. Um, Looks like he wants campaign-based playlists. Oh, yeah, sure, I can do that. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Trav. Thank you for letting me know. I will uh, do that. And as always, we appreciate subscribers to our YouTube. Yeah, that's e pretty yeah, easy to do. Now, do you think we should put, like, so we have 3.0 and 3.1. Should that stay in one folder, or should we separate 3.1 out to a separate? I think they need to stay in one, but I'd love to hear what people think. Yeah. I might do that, like, tonight or tomorrow. That's mm -hmm. easy. So, the vermin. Lonely ant. Yeah. Of course. Can swap insanity and survival. Can be useful, but yeah. not that good. Yeah. And our bug patch is gone. All right. Okay. okay, and he's spent. So now I will do my other character with the bone pickaxe and do an ore vein. <clears throat> and you're now free to go. Yes. Okay, so I get 2d, uh, roll 2d10 and see what I get. Eight. I get one iron. 
That's me for you. Though to be fair, you have to roll 13 plus, I think it is. You can't put a scrap sword in your in, in your gurgurt anyways. Well, no, this is Orvane. It would have been two ore. Oh, okay. Two Never iron. Mind. Okay. That makes sense then. Sorry. No problem. For some reason, I thought it was the debris. Yeah. So I get an iron on Ezra. And <coughs> that goes away. Okay, so since you screamed, both of my characters are insane, so they can actually, like, move um, more. Okay, the, now, yeah, let's so, have you go first. Sato can move six. Uh, do you want to hit the debris first? No. Oh, yeah, it's not that useful. The random basic's nice, but... Oh, I sh yeah, I should have... I'm going to hit the debris first, so I will surge, upping me to six survival, and then... Um, just for thought purposes, you can hit the debris, or you can move, uh, search, dash, search, and hit to Acanthus. Yes, but this character can't, like, so what, like, there's the bone blade, mm -hmm. which we could theoretically get. I can't put that in my gear grid on anybody but him. Yeah. So. I, so what I'm kind of thinking is I might take this character and run towards the debris. That might have made more sense. If you want to go all the way out, okay. Then in that case, I should have probably kept the debris over here. Yeah, if you were so, going to do that. I will do that. There that, you go. that makes sense. Okay. So he moves six, and because he has a sickle, he rolls two dice, which is going to be a 16, which is going to be a fresh acanthus. Oh, yeah, yeah. You. Very easily. Because I think getting the fresh acanthus is our priority. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you, so, Maeve. So, my dash was going to be my original survival. I move over to this acanthus. Get, him, and then get I the surge. one by him. Are you sure you don't want to hit this one? Uh, I'd hit this one because then you can cycle through these two. Okay. Oh! Oh, fucking snake eyes. You take an arm damage. Wow. <coughs> Amazing. And you rolled two ones. Amazing! You are now have rolled more ones than tens. Okay. <laughs> so we don't Amazing! Wanna, we don't want to do the acanthus on anybody but him. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You can go how much? Seven. So I can get right up to the acanthus. Sounds but, good. Okay. And then I'm thinking about dashing and surging and starting to beat up on the antelope. Sure. Oh, with number two. Oh, <laughs> it'll have its own one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just to confuse people. Though if they Saddest see one video in it. In the world. Yeah, maybe I'll throw the uh, initial hero mode video in there just to fuck with people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one that we canceled. Yeah. Um, you okay. Mean the people of the skull? Yeah, the people of the skull hero mode that we canceled. Oh, yeah, okay. So three, four, five, six. And. I will attack. Oh, no, wait, he's going to run. Not, yeah, that's not a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. I am attacking <coughs> with a skull cap hammer. So I hit on a... I'm missing the accuracy bonus, so I hit on a 7+. plus. One hit. Have a restless rump. Giant tongue. So this is not bad that he's running away from that character. Um, since I only got one hit. I hit on... He's uh, eight toughness, right? Yes. Anything but a one with ease. And I crit on an eight, nine, or ten. Oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, that would help a lot. We'll do that, definitely. Thank you for uh, following and everything, Trav. Always appreciated. <laughs> Screaming antelope resource. And he doesn't run away. Oh, yeah, good point. And you were just using a normal weapon, so only one wound. Yep. And I didn't perfect hit, so he's not negative speed. Okay. Bloopers, yes. Call it, call it blooper. 
I think he really meant bloopers, but it actually is kind of funny, the idea of calling it blooper a shank them. I may have to call it blooper now just to fuck with him. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. All right, so... Do you want to do the same with your character? Oh, wait. What uh, are you talking about? My characters can't do anything. Your other character... My characters oh, can't do anything. He can't spend survival? No. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because he needs an understanding. Yes. Okay. Um, pass monster controller. And let's keep going. I really miss having rawhide stuff. I know. Seriously. It really teaches you to appreciate what you have. Yep. Gore! Full move in the direction the monster is facing and turn to face the closest survivor. Um, move and attack. No, <laughs> random survivor and ranch. Oh, this sucks. oh, random survivor in range. So, any of the three of us. Yes. I rolled Me. seven. So, it'll be the guy who's going to have him attack. Okay. Okay, so... Is that the person who's the monster controller or not? No. Okay. Speed of one, accuracy of three plus, yay monster grease, or five plus. Okay. And that is a hit. I would be knocked down. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah. Because I stand right up. So I'll take the one to the body. Okay. Okay. There we go. <coughs> Alright. And that is the end of this turn. And I stand back up. God, I love Fist and Tooth Mastery. Fist and Tooth Mastery is the shit. Oh. So you can hear the AC? How loud is it? Is it overwhelming us or is it just kind of soft? Very appreciate. We appreciate hearing. I think usually it's been like this kind of light rumble in the background. Uh -huh. Okay. But it's cooled down in here, so we could probably kill it if we wanted. But well, it's gonna get hotter because of the lamps. Oh yeah. Gentle oh, gentle background noise. That's not bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, so he moves over to the acanthus. Roll two dice. Nine. Nine. That gets a fresh acanthus. Okay. I dash and surge. Do you want to be behind it or here? How much can you move? Uh, I can move five. Okay, so since you can move five, I'm going to put you here. Or here. That puts you closer to the antelope. And you get the last fresh acanthus. Okay. So we got them all. Yay. So we get four dried acanthus. Yay. Because we're going to fucking need it. Okay, I'm going to start by surging to attack the antelope. Okay. Is it safe for me to do so? Uh, you will suffer... If the wound roll result is even, suffer one brain damage. If the wound roll result is odd, gain one insanity. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so I am attacking with a bone axe. So I hit on a five plus. Two hits. Into the darkness. Oh, uh, clubber shield, damn. Um, okay. So let's do that. I will do the furry throat first. I wound on anything but a 1. And I crit on a 9 or a 10. If I crit, I deal an extra wound. And if I miss, I get. I have the axe stuff. So if I miss, uh, I may ignore it and attempt to wound the selected location again. Okay. That is a wound. <laughs> All right, we've dealt two damage. Uh, one. Two dam. We have dealt. Two oh, damage. we have dealt two. Yes. I thought you said it dealt two. Mm -mm. Okay, and now. Did you take your brain damage or insanity? And that's a crit. Did what? you take your brain damage or insanity? Because oh, you did. You didn't wound on it. Crit on this, right? No. If. Oh, that's oh, that's this one. Sorry. Yeah, and this I, I was confused. Yeah, and this one I just crit on. Okay, and it, you're using an axe, so it's savage. So I get two wounds. So you get two wounds. And I get a resource. And a resource, yes. Very nice. Farming the antelope. Gotta love the antelope farming. Okay, you get a bee steak. Oh, we've got quite a... Ooh, nice. We've got quite a few viewers. As always, appreciate follows both here and on YouTube. Um, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers, so the closer we can get to that, the better. I am going to move in behind him and attack using the Zombato. Alrighty. Oh, wait. Um, then to, I searched to do that. 
So now I'm going to do my basic move, then I'm going to dash and search to search this. Okay. That was my plan. So okay. get my X check mark mm -hmm. and get the fuck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Six. Perfect. Random basic resource. Exactly what we wanted. Nice. <laughs> okay, I'll grab that while you play. All right, so I'm attacking him from behind. I have a lot of accuracy, so one from the weapon proficiency, uh, two from base accuracy, and uh, one from being behind him, which means I hit on a two plus. That is a two plus. Nice. I am attacking the gnarled horns. Ooh. All right, so the Zambato. Um, so I have one luck base, plus a lucky charm, plus the Zambato is deadly, so I crit on a 7 plus, and I uh, wound on a 2 plus. Okay. That is a crit. Nice, what do you get? Screaming antelope resource. Also, uh, crushed crown. Oh, so it hurts AI cards. I get a spiral horn. So oh, yes! Spiral horn. We get, an, we get our, uh, our third helmet we needed. Yes! And he is also knocked down because I crit on him with a uh, grand weapon, and we have grand weapon mastery in the settlement. Okay, our basic resource is just a monster bone. Okay. Not perfect, but it gets more shit out of the deck. Exactly. All right. Okay, so... I think your character is the last one left. Oh, right, because this character already did everything. Yeah. Okay, so I will hit on a 3+. plus. I'm going to ignore that Acanthus. I don't think we need to worry about it. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the hit location? Mm. Uh, okay, so all reactions are canceled, so you don't have to worry about it, which yep. is good because if the Lord Rook roll for this location is a 1 or a 2, the monster consumes your weapon. Oh, that would be bad. Yes. <laughs> that would be very bad. Okay, so Skullcap Hammer. Um, hitting on a 7+. plus. Yeah, that would be nice. Yes. Oh, that would be nice. One hit. Eh. Or no, two hits, because he's knocked down. Yes. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, it's fine. It looked like the fucking trap for a second there. Okay. Both of these are good. Okay, and no perfect hits and no speed reduction. So I wound on a two plus. I crit on a seven, eight, or or eight, nine, or ten. Uh -huh. That is a wound. Taking him down to five. Did I actually wound him with the zambato? Like, did I deduct the wounds from the zambato? Yeah, I think so. Oh wait, no, you didn't, and I didn't uh, mark it. So that was two more wounds. Okay. Because the zambato is devastating. So he's down to three. Okay. And somebody be like, no. Um, crit! That is a resource. Man, we're actually rocking him this time. Yes. And I do get my check for my club. Do you need any checks? Helps. Um, yeah, I need an axe check. Okay. So that was another wound, which means he's down to two cards. And a persistent injury. Okay. Which is going to be the vomit blood. Oh, oh, this one's not good. Why? Whenever the monster collides with the survivor, they are drenched in blood and gain 1d10 insanity. Oh, yeah, that's a bad day. Yeah. Okay, so which character needs the hit? That, the one in brown. Okay. So, monster stands up. Yep. And monster controller moves. Yes, that is true. Uh, yeah. And we get gore! Full move in the direction it's facing. Yay. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Turn to face the closest so he stays facing that way. Um, and then move and attack. Random survivor in range. That is everyone. Yes. That's not good. Okay, number two. Seto, the brown. This one. Yeah. Okay, so three, four, five, six. One um, speed. Okay. How much evasion? I have on Seto, I have four evasion. So six plus. That hits. It does hit me. Go ahead and roll it. And that would be a waste for one damage and knockdown. But we stand up, so yep. I will take the waste damage. 
and then stand up at the start of the uh, wait he has ruined and then he has ruined horns uh he does oh, not have ruined horns the pit of oh i thought he did no he has vomit blood and crushed crown oh i thought the crushed crown was ruined horns no okay 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 so now you try to <coughs> get your hit yes uh i will don't forget to look at hit location before you move thank you uh Turn the screaming antelope to face the attacker and full move forward in a straight line. Okay. I may take the uh, thing, but whatever. Yep, doesn't so, matter if you get your wound. Bonax uh, has a speed of 2, and I, uh, I hit on a 3+. plus. Alrighty. One hit. Nice. And that's a 10. Hey, you're back even. Uh, the Bone Axe does not have any specials for that. No. And then I have a, I have a 1 luck, so I crit on a 9 or a 10. Uh, and then this has 3 strength, and I have 3 strength, so I wound on two a plus. 2 plus. That is a wound. Okay, so... That, uh, Turn that... the screaming antelope to face the attacker and full move forward in a straight line. So he does collide with you. Which means I take 1d10 insanity. Oh, how bad is that? 12. Okay, so I'm, you're still safe. I don't have 20. Okay. So he just needs to not collide with me again. Yes. Uh, so that worked. Oh, and uh, I think I still suffered... Whenever monster collides, they are pure. Yeah, technically, I think I still uh, have to like uh, take to a random hit location. A one so, one wound. Yeah. Head. That's fine. Okay. okay. So now we need to kill him. Yes. I'm not likely to hit him. How are how is your other character? <laughs> I mean, I've got the Zambato. Yeah. And I will kill him. Like if I hit him, I will kill him. That sounds good to me. I'll look at the hit location first. Restless Hoof, uh, kicked out of reach by the Screaming Antelope. I don't care. Okay. So I move up to him, and I attack. I hit on a uh, 3 plus. 2 plus. 2 plus. That's a hit. 2 plus. So it is going to be the Restless Hoof. That's a land of failure, though. Uh, so I crit on a 7 um, plus. plus, and I wound on a two plus. Nice. Oh. Unfortunately, not a crit. Would it have been no resource? Yeah. Oh, so I did the resource farming this game. But I did wound. Nice. Just the guy who didn't collect all the fresh acanthus. I'm just saying. <laughs> I got one. I, I got one of them. Yeah, I'm just teasing you. And I collected three other resources. And I, but I got the spiral horn, man. Fair, fair. I'll give you that one. Or take it. <laughs> yeah. That was a nice farm. Yeah. So now we now we now have headgear on everybody if we want it. Yep. That's nice. Very nice. I am not going to complain about that one at all. So just four basics and four special or four monsters. Yes. <coughs> yeah, we could have tried to get him to heal, but it's kind of dangerous. Yeah, I didn't want to screw with that. Not to mention our crit rates aren't that high. Yeah. If we had somebody that was like critting on a 4+, plus, it might have been worth it. Mm-hmm. But oh, I'm so happy we got the 4 Canthus. That's what we came here for. Shankbone. Boo. Muscly gums. Okay. Pelt. Boo. Pelt. Boo. Yeah. No bladder, no brain. Yep. No organs. Well, beef steaks an organ, muscly yeah. gums is an organ. I would have preferred all organs. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Just being honest here, I prefer all organs. And now, what we really, really want, what we really, really want, is Watch a skull. This. Well, or love, or ju love juice. Yeah, love juice and skulls. I'll take fucking love juice, man. Yeah, no shit. What happened that game where I was like drawing both love juice every round? Oh, I know that was ridiculous. Okay. So first up, any. Okay. That that's tolerable. Love juice. Nice. Organ. Mm-hmm. 
And a lantern. Yeah. Not a bad combo. No. We got our love juice. Yep. Would have preferred also to get a skull. Yeah, we're planning on some serious wounds. Some serious We've wounds? we got two skulls, oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, uh, we still need to do the rest of it. So yep. everybody hunt XP. And weapon proficiency. Yep. Uh, Sato ages. Sato. And so does uh, Midoriya. Okay, and so does Faye. Oh, wow. Midoriya's okay. first age. I'll do Midoriya first. Okay. Ooh, 18. Wow. That's nice. 18 on the first age, gain plus one permanent accuracy. Eh, I've had better. I mean, that's normally really good, mm -hmm. but with uh, people, the skull's not as important. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. All right, so for Sato... Is that first age or second? First. 12. Random one random fighting art, which we get three and pick one. Yep, and what's your other character? Is going to be two with improved reflexes. Okay. That is going to be 11. 11 is permanent strength, so she's up to 5 strength. Okay. If we could just fix her everything. Um, uh, one more understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Would have been nice. Yeah, would have been nice. Okay, so random fighting art. Yep. You have a choice today from Crazed. On perfect hit, gain an insanity. Mm -hmm. Rhythm Chaser. On arrival, gain an evasion token. When you are knocked down, if you don't have any instrument in your gear grid, remove all your evasion tokens. Rhythm Chaser cannot be used if there is any heavy gear in your gear grid. That is nice. Uh, no, because you have to bring an instrument and all of them are noisy. Uh, no. Only if you are knocked down do you lose the evasion token. Yeah. If you don't have an energy, but you still get the plus one at the start, mm -hmm. you just want don't want to be knocked down. And an evasion token is awesome. Yeah. Double dash. During your act, once per round, you may spend an action to gain an extra dash. I think the extra evasion, even though it's complicated with the, you can lose it from knockdown. Yeah. It's kind of funny, because actually it, it works really well with Faye, because she has another way of getting an evasion token, actually. Ah. Oh, nice. Yeah, we got one of Canthus from Herb Gathering, and then we got the other three from farming uh, the stuff here. Okay. So she is a rhythm chaser. Nice. All right. So... I think that's it for the hunt? Uh, yeah. Okay. I've marked off the weapon proficiencies and everything. It's showdown, screaming antelope. But we just do one last quick check to make sure that we've done everything correctly. Yes, we have done everything correctly. Okay, killing the recording for the hunt. 